if you only came for the campus tour, I really recommend you watch the rest of the video because uh, Seton Hall might be the least interesting thing about South Orange. Hi, I'm Rob, I'm ready to start, and today I'm going to be showing you around my college town of South Orange and Maplewood. I go to Seton Hall, so South Orange is the town that the college is in, and Maplewood is the town over. A lot of people call it Soma or Mapso, uh, because the two towns do a lot of things together. I'm going to start with a campus tour, and then I'm going to go into town and show you some of the cool restaurants and shops that South Orange and Maplewood has to offer. I live in a house a couple blocks over from campus. This is a quick room tour. As you can see, I have completely covered all of my walls with photographs. I really like that in this room my bed is on one side and my desk is on the other, so I can separate re my relaxation space from my school workspace. This is Cole, one of my roommates at the house. What's up? You can see him with the self-portrait there. <laughs> you might recognize Cole from the cold coffee video. I was a, a great uh, stand-in, right guys? <laughs> Smash the like button if you want more coal. He's on the cross-country team at Seton Hall. What's something a lot of people don't know about being a student athlete? Um, they do our laundry, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Here's the fit for today. Figured I should wear a piece of Seton Hall merch. Let's go. So I've lived in a dorm, an apartment, and a house during my few years at Seton Hall. Um, I definitely like living in an apartment the best. Um, living in a house is the cheapest. And living in a dorm is good for your freshman year to get to know people, but uh, it's so expensive. This is Ward Gate, this is kind of the back entrance to the campus and I'm going to do a quick cut to the postcard design. This is a good spot to see a lot of the campus. This is the green where a lot of people hang out. That's Jubilee, that's the business building. And then over there is Aquinas Hall which is the nicer freshman dorm but Boland I've heard is more fun. This is the University Chapel, because it is a Catholic school. You may have heard about the curse of the seal, that you can't step on it or else you won't graduate within four years. And if you do step on it, you gotta run through there to uh, touch the pirate statue. This is a statue of Elizabeth Ann Seton the university's namesake, right in front of the business building. One of the coolest spots in Jubilee Hall is this big white room. This is great for photos, if you're looking for photo spots on campus. There's also a stock trading room. As far as COVID precautions go at Seton Hall, you gotta wear a mask at all times on campus, at least for now. Center where the cafeteria and other dining options are. There's the Dunkin' Donuts right over there by the library. These are some upper class doors. Arts and Sciences and Nursing Buildings. This is Fahey Hall where most of the philosophy classes take place. First, I am a business major, business management and entrepreneurship, and I'm getting a philosophy minor as well. So now we're going to talk to one of my professors from my philosophy class. In lots of cases, we won't know with certainty the consequences of our actions, um, but let's just suppose that we know what's going to happen kind of in the ordinary sense of knowledge. I often said it. The most rewarding thing is sort of hard to pick, and <laughs> uh, the answer might seem cliche. It's uh, being able to teach students and see them uh, learn from the material and uh, improve the 
these sort of practical skills as a consequence. So you're helping to hone their critical thinking skills, their analytical reasoning skills, and seeing that change over the course of the semester, that's extremely gratifying. If they enjoy the material, that just makes it exponentially more rewarding, but that's just icing on the cake. So my favorite thing that I do for research is on the philosophy of death. Uh, that's what I wrote my dissertation on, and it sounds more morbid uh, than I think it actually is. Maybe there's an afterlife, but if you just cease to exist after you die, uh, a lot of people think that would be bad for you. But it's sort of puzzling to try to explain how it could be bad for you. Lucretius, who was an ancient Epicurean, pointed out, well, none of us existed uh, for an eternity before we're born. And he said, these two things are on a par, so if we shouldn't worry about non-existence before we're born, uh, then we shouldn't worry about non existence after. So I'm interested in like very kind of broad questions like that that I find uh, fun to think about and I find super puzzling as well. This is the library. There's three or four floors, floors to the library. And like most schools, they get quieter as you go higher up. Approaching the gym. And here you got the pool, you got the Walsh Gymnasium. Now there's four basketball courts for pickup games or to shoot around, but uh, most of the gym equipment is out on it right now because of social distancing. This is the pirate statue that I mentioned earlier, that if you step on the seal, you gotta run and touch it. You gotta run all the way from there. It's a pretty far run, to be honest. I don't think anybody actually does it, though. If you skateboard on campus, do not try to ride on the roads. You will wipe out on that speed bump. They just built this whole arena for the baseball stadium this year. Looks pretty nice, honestly. Got a whole turf outfield, Hall of Fame. Top of the parking garage is also a good spot to watch baseball games. Now I'm moving on from campus to go check out the town a little bit. If you only came for the campus tour, I really recommend you watch the rest of the video because uh, Seton Hall might be the least interesting thing about South Orange. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll show you some cool spots in town. Over here you got Clucky Chicken. If you want some decent chicken late at night, get the uh, medium mini bites. I get the honey hickory or the Cluxers hot. Now the roads in South Orange are no joke. It is dangerous out here, so be careful. Right now we're coming down South Orange Ave. As you can see, lots of apartment buildings. Plenty of space for student housing off campus. This is the true downtown of South Orange. A lot of barber shops, a lot of cafes. Walgreens, where all the kids buy overpriced roses on Valentine's Day. Just a quick view from the opposite direction. That's where Irvington Ave branches off from South Orange. And you got more town down there and the train station. This used to be the town hall, um, but they're turning it into a brewery. This is the heart of downtown on South Orange Ave. You got pizza places, breakfast places. Used to work here. Really good beers and really good food. I recommend the uh, fish and chips for sure. They brew all their beer on site. Don't try to get served there if you're under 21 though. They will take your fake ID and pin it to the wall. Got the train station over here. A lot of shops right under it. That's Midi Midi. That's a Latin street food place. Very good food there. Best breakfast place in town and for sure the best bagels in town. It is hot bagels abroad. Can I get a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese, not toasted, not toasted. and a everything bagel with pork roll egg and cheese? This is a cool little part of town. It's a nice little walkway off of the main street. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going to show you probably the coolest shop in all of South Orange. Just a quick view of the best breakfast sandwich in town. This is a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese. I'm Dr. Arnold Saslow. I'm the owner of the Old Curiosity Shop. We are the largest store in the state of New Jersey that sells the things you normally see in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. We deal in Byzantine, Roman, Greek, Egyptian, pre-Columbian, American, Indian, and African. We are one of the largest dealers in the state in non-American coins, stamps, and paper money that actually have a store. 
and uh, this is a very, very unusual storm. Just finished the interview with Dr. Sasla. That video will be out in about a week. Really cool stuff there. Um, everything from prehistoric to ancient Rome and ancient Egypt to signatures from your favorite TV shows. So stay tuned for that. So now I'm heading to South Mountain Reservation, which is the mountain and hiking trails in South Orange. Uh, after that, I'm going to go to Maplewood, walk down Maplewood Ave, show you some of the shops and restaurants, and show you City Workshop, which is where I work. That's where we're heading. This is one of the entrances to South Mountain Reservation. Uh, on the way to Hemlock Falls, it's a 0.3 mile walk from here. Now, I've actually never been to the waterfall. I've always gone to different parts of the reservation, but I drew it on the postcard, so I figured I should go today. This place is great for hiking, walking dogs, photos. Very picturesque. I should have known though when I saw water flowing in the same direction I was walking that I was going the wrong way. Now we're on the right track. That's about as much of a waterfall as you'll get in South Arm. Now I gotta run to get the city workshop before the close. I do recommend hiking in some better shoes. Some very rocky paths. So we're driving into Maplewood now. Maplewood Ave is easily the best smelling street in all of New Jersey. This street has every type of food you could possibly want. And there's quite a few cool shops in here as well. Coda is phenomenal. Try the short rib grilled cheese. And for lunch, you got Sprout over there, which is a good place for salad bowls. Now on Baker Street, which is right off Maplewood Ave, you have Baker Street Market, which has some of the best sandwiches you'll ever have. You got Muse, which is a nice women's store, a paper hat, an art store, and City Workshop. So welcome to City Workshop. We're a premium denim shop that specializes in that classic Americana workwear. We have jeans made in the United States, we have jeans made in Japan, and then we just kind of put our own spin on that whole style. We have sneakers from Japan, and we have like the really cool heritage brands like Red Wing and Blundstone for your feet. And you know, we've been here in Maplewood for a little over a year, and this shop has been in existence for five years. You know, I can't say enough about being in this community of the people as well as all the shopkeepers that are here and people were doing things like buying candles and t-shirts just to make sure we had income coming in. You know people are coming out and people are shopping smart and shopping safe and hopefully we can continue to grow and we'll be able to shop like we used to. But we really appreciate the towns and the, the surrounding uh, towns here. So I know I featured South Orange a lot more than Maplewood, it's just because I'm more familiar with South Orange, uh, but I figured it would be good to include Maplewood because it's a pretty cool town as well. This is daniel San. Uh, He's no, frozen in time. This is great, dude. Dan is my roommate and was my roommate last year as well. Dan and I just ordered a pizza from the Reservoir, which is, dare I say, the best pizza in town. Domino's all the way. <laughs> Best pizza in town. You know my grandparents used to come here when it was in Newark? Sounds Reservoir moved from Newark to South Orange. I don't know when, but... Very much. Dan and I have a tradition of getting variety packs of beer and doing flights. We are both 21. We do not condone underage drinking. Alright, crack them and pour them with me. Pizza as the palate cleanser. <laughs> we've done pistachios before, and we've done other salty treats, but never anything as luxurious as Reservoir Pizza. Ready to get devoured. 
capping off the tour of South Orange with the best pizza in South Orange. They cut this unevenly on purpose so that you can choose the size of slice you want. While we're eating the pizza first? Cheers, I'm gonna take a bite at least. All oh, hungry. Yeah, quite killer. It's so good. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, light and refreshing. Philadelphia Pale Ale, brewed in the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia is one of the best cities in the world. Honestly, yeah, it's like, gonna be hard to beat. Uh, yeah, I can drink this all night, no problem. Palagunzi. Next we have the pink with a Y. Sparkling Tart Berry Ale. Cheers. The second one. Ooh. It almost tastes like a sparkling wine. It does, like it very much does. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. The Brawler Champion Ale. Cheers. Dangerous. It does like kind of punch you in the face. A little bit. It's like stout-ish. Yeah, definitely. It's a little bitterer than I thought it would be. Plants. Your yeah, crust is so good. It's in the running for best pizza. It's hands down the best crust I've ever had. And we're finishing off with the big hitter. The signature IPA. Cheers. Crushed. That's just good. That's really good for like a heavy yeah. IPA. It's a heavy IPA, but it does not taste like it. I think IPA takes the cake. Uh, I'll second that motion. Yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty darn good. That is the, my number two. The Philadelphia Paleo. Yeah. I uh, I would say that my second would be the pink. Pink's my number three. This is definitely a last for me. They really do like the whole brawler thing. Kind of makes sense because the stout kind of does like punch you up in the in the face a little bit. Sent it. Wow. It's good though. Throw the wink. Throw it. Dan, what do you have to say to the Seton Hall and South Orange community? Eh, you're okay, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you're a student looking at Seton Hall, I hope this showed you what the school in the town is all about. And uh, check out some of my other videos. I make fashion, music, and vlog videos, and that interview with Dr. Arnold Saslow is coming next week, so check that out as well. In the meantime, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.